guys, today I'm here with my Sephora VIB appreciation sale recommendations. This is a new sale to Sephora, I think, but either way, it's happening. So I thought I would recommend 10 makeup products for you, actually one of them skincare plus a bonus fragrance. Uh, and I will leave all of the details for the sale down below so that we can keep this video short and sweet. If you are shopping on Sephora, the online website, and I believe if you do it in store in the United States, you can redeem Ebates, which is like a cash back website. I've been using it since 2012. I'm obsessed with it. Uh, and I will have links down below if you would like to use my links or you can always just shop um, you can always just sign up on their website as well, but uh, let's go ahead and get started. So I tried to pick something from most categories for the face and tried not to repeat any brands. In addition to that, I will have my other Sephora VIB sale recommendations videos listed down below. I do them twice and now I guess three times a year. Those recommendations all still stand, but I don't want to repeat myself. So the first thing is for the face and I reviewed this recently. It is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Foundation. I love this. I think it's incredible. I have been wearing it nonstop for like the past two or three weeks since I got it. But of course, um, t check down below because I have a full wear test with a uh, review and showing you before and afters, how it performs in flash photos. You can really see it for yourself. Um, but at the end of the day, I definitely think you should pick this up. Such a good time to save some money. In keeping with the complexion products, something that I've fallen in love with as well is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Again, I have a full review on this with a demo. None of these products should really come as a surprise. I've used them all multiple times, be it here on YouTube, on Instagram, on my blog. These are all products that I really, really love. And even if they weren't on sale, I still recommend them. But of course, everybody wants to save a little bit of money. I think this concealer is fabulous. And as I mentioned in my review, what makes it even more valuable for me is the fact that it has half a fluid ounce, which is miles above the other kind of high-end concealers that you may compare it to. So although it is a high-end price, you're getting a lot more in your bottle, which I think is amazing. And again, I'm repeating myself from that review, but for a blush or a highlighter even, it doesn't really matter for me. But for a concealer, if it's something that I'm gonna be using day after day after day, it's nice to have that that product in there and on top of that the actual product itself is really great. To set the face, this is newer to me but I've fallen in love with it partially because of the gimmick but it's also just a great product. So this is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder and the first time I used this I actually filmed an Instagram tutorial which I will link down below and that day I actually filmed YouTube videos too. Got so many compliments on my skin so thank you. Partially was this powder and then I was also wearing some other Becca products but this feels like water on your skin. It feels wet. It's almost a little bit jarring. You're like, whoa, is my brush wet when you go to touch your face with it? But what I like about it is it's so light. It doesn't look like powder on your skin. So if you do have a drier skin type, I think you could absolutely give this a try. If you're kind of scared of powder, but you wanna try it for whatever reason, or if you're oily like myself, it does a really good job setting things in place. It's not necessarily the most mattifying powder ever, but what I like about it is if you are wearing a really mattifying foundation and you wanna powder things down, but you don't wanna add a heavy layer of powder on your face or anything that's gonna make it look even cakier than it may already, or you just don't wanna add that powdery look to the skin, I think this is a beautiful powder. I thought they did something very similar in finish with their other powder, which I can't remember. It comes in kind of that bulky square. I always liked that powder too with kind of heavier, more matte foundations, but this has that added bonus of just feeling so, so good on the skin. To highlight your face, definitely have to give these a shout out. I have been using these quite a bit and for whatever reason, they just kind of haven't come up on my channel. So these are the, what are they calling them? I think they're just highlighters. I don't know. Either way, I have the shades Fort de France and St. Bart, St. Barth's, St. Bart's. I don't know. Either way, great highlighters. Uh, I'm wearing both of them on my face right now. And what I really like about these is although they're quite impactful, they give a really beautiful glow. The texture of them and the way they look on the skin is uh, very, very friendly to the skin, we'll say. Some highlighters just really sit there. They really look like a stripe, but this really blends into the skin. It gives a beautiful glow. It's not like a super natural satin finish. I mean, I got quite a glow going on here, but it definitely is a little bit more textured skin, not perfect skin friendly, while still giving you a beautiful glow. Super densely packed in there, but I do use that kind of Morphe highlighting brush that I use all the time, and just kind of build it up, and it allows you to kind of build the glow. You can go a little more natural, or you 
you can really build it up to something quite bright, but it has uh, six shades in the line, which I think is really great. So there's kind of something for everybody in there. Wanted to mention this again, this is a little newer to me. This is the um, Fenty Beauty, what is the official name? Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer. And I really, really like this. I have only been using this for about two weeks or so, but I've been using it every time I wore an eyeshadow and I find it does a really good job. I have quite oily eyelids and it's just easy to use. It doesn't have a ton of color in it. It's more or less clear, but it blends out on the eye nicely to the point where sometimes I'm a little afraid to put eyeshadows on over particular primers because I feel like it's gonna catch and it's not gonna blend because it's like so sticky. This kind of dries to this nice finish where it feels like it's gonna be like sticky and kind of the, the powder is going to adhere to it but at the same time it doesn't feel like it's going to be hard to blend. I like the applicator on it and I do like the fact that it helps to um, give longevity to the wear of my eyeshadows so I know I had some people asking if I recommend it and I do. To put on top of those eyeshadows definitely definitely so blown away by this eyeshadow palette and I kind of wasn't expecting to be but I still love it and I can move on very quickly to products even if I love them it's just kind of the the nature of the game or whatever you want to call it the name of the game but either way I have a lot of makeup I'm moving quickly I'm trying out new things but this is kind of something that I've been like out of the corner of my eye even though I've created looks for it I want to go back to it and I want to try it which tr like keep using it which I think means a lot I think it's a unique palette in the sense that the shades are interesting it's not super fiery warm it's not super cool toned it definitely is more warm than cool but it just has a great selection of shades you're going day you're going night you have smoky you have colorful it just has everything I need in there and I I think the packaging is great. I feel like it's not only the best product that, that they've offered for eyeshadows so far, but I just love the packaging as well. And I think it's an incredible, incredible palette. And eyeshadow palettes, of course, are definitely up there in price. So it's a great time to pick it up. So I have two different things on my lips right now. The first is a MAC lipstick in the shade Jubilee. This was the first MAC lipstick I ever bought. Well, not this one specifically, because I think I broke that other one and I ended up repurchasing it. But what I wanted to make the recommendation for was just overall, don't forget that MAC is now on the Sephora website, at least Sephora Canada. I would assume MAC, is that an American? Sephora because like you guys get everything you've probably had it for months what do I know but this is a great time because getting a discount on Mac is is very 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 rare if like does it ever happen besides the past year when they were doing their Mac select sales so not only that but Sephora is also moving around their point system thank you so that the points actually mean money which is so important and it's great that they finally caught up to that because I've just been building up points I mean those points are going to turn into money but it just never felt worth it I'm like I spent $500 and you're going to give me this really so glad to see that that's happening but it's just nice to be able to find everything all in one place I think it just have extra avenues to pick things up and making things more available to people so very very happy to see that I do have a very old video with my top Mac recommendations but Overall, I don't really feel like you can go too wrong with MAC. I'm not 100% sure, so excuse me if I'm wrong in my recommendations of what is on the Sephora website, but it really looked like they were kind of loading everything in there. But for me, my top picks are Studio Fix Powder Foundation, Studio Fix Liquid um, Liquid Foundation, their lipsticks, their blushes, their extra dimension skin finishes, Fix Plus is a classic... They've done a lot of great stuff and it's a great time if for some reason you haven't tried out MAC um, to give it a try at a discount. I have gotten so into lip glosses over the past six months and even glosses that have a bit of an iridescence to it and that is never something I really thought I would be into either of them, iridescence or gloss. In the most recent times I've been just so into matte lipsticks and then I kind of got into cream lipsticks and now I've creeped into the world of gloss again. So uh, these are quite new to me but I have really been enjoying it. That is what I'm wearing on top of the lip gloss now I have the shade opalescent on and these are the because it doesn't say it on it here let me read it Lancome prismatic plump lip glosses so they add a little bit of um, plumpness in my opinion just because of the finish it's the nature of gloss it has that minty feeling but it doesn't burn by any means I don't find it gives like a crazy plump uh, effect in the sense of making your lips tingle but I really love the look on the lips it has a nice iridescence to it but it's nothing that looks 
too strong. I really love the look of pairing it with the nude lipstick like I am today. And I think that they have a really nice finish because they're super glossy and plump, but at the same time, um, it doesn't feel like they're just going to rub away. So it's not sticky, but they have a little bit of a thickness that kind of helps them to stick around. And they have a nice kind of minty scent and come in about seven or eight shades. I don't know that you're necessarily gonna see a huge jump in difference from shade to shade to shade because they are kind of sheer with a little color and a little iridescent since what's really going to make the difference a lot of the time is what you wear underneath it but I think they have a really beautiful finish. Marc Jacobs is a great brand to approach during a sale like this because again it is a very high-end product but they make a lot of really really nice stuff. I really want their spotlight highlighter. I think I'm going to pick that up either this sale or the fall sale but this is their enamored what is this called? Enamored Hydrating Lip Gloss Stick. And it's really interesting because it looks like a lipstick, but it's really, really glossy, beautiful finish, great shades. I used it in a Get Ready With Me not long ago, maybe a month or two back. So I'll link that down below if you wanna see it in action. But this shade specifically I thought was really nice. It's in Mocha Choco Latte, which always makes me think of <laughs> Lady Marmalade, but really beautiful, so easy to wear, a great product that's just incredibly easy, has a lot of, um, glossiness to it but it doesn't have a super glossy it's really unique because it's in this stick format you would never expect it to give up as much gloss as it does but the finish is just so beautiful really convenient and gorgeous packaging as well I was looking up restrictions on this sale because I wasn't sure. Uh, I know a lot of the time they're like, you can't buy this, you can't buy that, whatever it might be. So I wanted to make sure nothing that I was recommending, um, you couldn't actually buy more specifically. I was curious about Mac, but what I did discover is you can only buy three from this brand. I guess if you're buying it online, I don't know if they would end up checking in store, but it is Drunk Elephant. And I have recommended them before in VIB sales, but I think I was recommending their Lippy Balm. So I wanted to point these out specifically. You will have seen this in my nighttime skincare routine. It is their TLC Glycolic Night Serum, and I love this. It has AHA, BHA blend, and on the back here it says it's good for dull, congested skin, good for improving uh, texture, uneven tone, fine lines, wrinkles, pores, and then the other one, you'll see this in an upcoming daytime skincare routine. This is the C Firma Serum, which I think is their best-selling product. And this has vitamin C, which is incredible for your skin, ascorbic acid, ferulic acids, and it's good for brightening the skin, getting rid of, uh, sorry, diminishing the appearance of UV photo damage, aging, radiance, luminosity, and these are just such great products. And of course, very high end, but I don't think that they're expensive, yes, but the value is there. Like they're not just expensive because they have like a luxury name slapped onto them. The ingredients are good. I've seen really, really good results with them. So that is why I'm kind of making that recommendation. I also love their marula oil and I love their um, new eye cream, the vitamin C eye cream as well. But if I had to make a re recommendation, I would definitely go with these. And they also have little mini sets if you're a little hesitant and you wanna, you know, like dip your toes in the water now and then fully dive in during the VIB sale. They do have little tiny sets as well that um, are I think about $30 Canadian and then you can take off your discount. So that could be a great way to try it as well. There's a lot of other skincare I love too, but I really wanted to kind of keep it to like the 10 slash 11 items. So if you check my skincare routine, favorite videos, um, monthly makeup baskets, there's all kinds of products in there too. But another great thing to pick up during sales like this is uh, scents, perfumes. Those are pricey for sure. So I wanted to recommend this again. I know I mentioned it in my most recent favorites video and a few of you actually said that you had um, picked it up yourself. So I'm, I'm, it's nice to know that I've got good taste in scent here. But this is the um, Guerlain, Mont Guerlain, and this is their newest scent, I find it just really balanced. It's not too fruity, too sweet, too spicy. And I, I'm not a huge scent person and I kind of dabble around in different scents, but this is definitely one that I found myself reaching for time and time again. So if you can get in store and give it a sniff, um, I recommend this one or just in general, I kind of wanted to point out the fact that uh, buying perfumes at this time is good because everyone can kind of be thinking makeup, but don't forget about skincare, perfume and hair care because those can definitely, you know, tend to be up there in price. And for some reason, it's it feels a little harder for me to spend money on that over like an eyeshadow palette. I don't know why. I feel like people are kind of one way or the other, um, but definitely, definitely keep that in mind if you did have your eye on something. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this roundup. Let me know down below if you plan on shopping the sale and what you plan on picking up. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.